Hello students, my name is Dr. Gajendra Prohit and you are watching our YouTube channel where I upload videos for Engineering, Mathematics, BSc. If you are preparing for any competitive exam where higher mathematics is required, my YouTube channel will be helpful. Students, I want to tell you that I've started teaching vector calculus again. Earlier, I had already uploaded videos on the same. If you haven't seen them, you can watch on iTab. This 2.0 series includes gradient, curl, divergence, Stokes' theorem and Green's theorem. I have already covered these in previous videos, so you can watch it on iTab. Today we will discuss the Gauss Divergence Theorem. The Gauss Divergence Theorem is often asked in exams. They ask how we can solve questions using Gauss Divergence Theorem. Sometimes there are questions in this that asks verification. So, you have to do the question in two ways. Let's see how to do it. This is about the statement. So, if we are given any surface integral here, then we can easily convert it into triple integration and can easily find its value without any problem. The normal surface integral of a vector function f over. The boundary of a closed region is equal to the volume integral of the divergence of f taken throughout the region. It means that we have any surface integral. So, the value with triple integration, it means we can solve it by taking the volume integral of the divergent of f. Students, this n that we have, what is this n? It is unit normal vector. Students, there is another form of this, that is this f1, f2, f3. You can put its value here. This double integration value can be converted in this way. And then we have to apply limits here and perform the volume integral. And by this, we can easily solve it. Let's see some questions and try to understand them. Students, we have a question here. Verify the Gauss divergence theorem. If f is equal to xi plus yj plus zk and the region given here is a square is greater than or equal to x square plus y square plus z square, which is less than or equal to b square. It means we have sphere, right? And its radius is larger than this one and from this, it is smaller. So, we can imagine that we have a spherical shell here, right? Here, what you have to do is calculate the value in it. So, what we will do? Divergence theorem states that the double integration of f dot n d s is equal to the triple integration of divergence of f d v. So, what we will do here is if we have to. Find the value of this, we will calculate del dot f here. That is the divergence of f function f is given. We will calculate the value of its divergence. We have del dot f. Students will do it i dot i, j dot j, n k dot k. So, this will be del x upon x, del y upon y and del z upon z. So, we will get its value. It will be 3 multiplied by dv. And students, you can clearly see we have a spherical shell here. So, tell me what do we have here? It's a spherical shell whose radius we have here as a and this is b. We need to find the volume of this. Now, if you see this, it is coming 3 multiplied by dv here. It's 3 into triple integration of dv. We want to see what will be the volume of this. So, we will, from the volume of this big one, if we subtract volume of this small one, we will get this value. This reason is given. For this reason, we will solve it. So, first, we will take this larger sphere and calculate its volume. So, the volume will be, what did we have? If we look at this and calculate its value. Students, it will be 3 multiplied by, we have 4 by 3 pi b cube, right? Because here the radius that is given is b. Then this small one, this sphere which is forming here. You can see this small sphere, the radius of this is greater than a and smaller than b. So, this is spherical shell. So, this one, we will subtract its volume from here. So, the volume we get will be 4 by 3 pi a cube. In this, if we will take out 3 as common and 4 pi as common. So, you will see it will be 4 pi b cube minus a cube. So, students, what will we get here? Integration. Value will come. Sometimes in exam, they ask for its verification. So, what will you do? With help of surface integral, you have to find its value. With the help of this, we should get this value. So, it will be verified. And the value we just calculated was obtained using the divergence theorem. So, we converted it and then solved it. If we solve it without converting, then also we will get the same answer. So, this theorem is verified. Students, now we will see that how without converting it, we can solve it. First thing we will do is take this surface. We will take outer sphere. So, x square plus y square plus z square minus b square is equal to 0. Because whenever we talk about integration. So, students, we know that the double integration, what we have here, it is f dot n d s. So, we need to find unit normal vector. And how do we find that? It is gradient of s1 by mod of gradient of s1. If you haven't seen surface integrals video, you can see it here on i tab where I have explained it in a better way. Grade of S1 is its derivative with respect to x into i, derivative with respect to y into j, derivative with respect to z into k. 
upon under root of its square, its square, its square, we will solve this. We know that value of x square plus y square plus z square will be b square. If we put b square here, it will become b and 2 will be common and cancel out. So, what will we get? We will get value of n cap. Students, now we will calculate its value. It will be f dot n. So, we will take this in x y plane as we have this sphere given. Thus, we will take above x y plane and then we will make it twice because we will get its value here and when we will multiply it twice, we will have entire sphere. First, we calculate its value and we get dx dy which is divided by we have k dot n cap, right? So, what will we get here? We will get the value. We have this n cap then. Value of f is given. We will take and put it here. Then we will do its integration. I will tell you. So, this will be its value. We know that f is this and n cap is this divided by this. So, when we simplify it, we get this and we know that the value of x square plus y square plus z square is b square. Value of b square upon b will be b. So, now what will we do? We will calculate n dot k cap. Here, value of n was this and k is this. It will be k dot k1. Its value will be z by b. So, these two values, this value and its value, you can take this and put it here. Okay. So, what will we do? When we put the value and when this goes up, it will be b square and z. Students, we know that here value was x square plus y square plus z square minus b square is equal to 0. We need value of z. z is equal to under root of b square minus x square minus y square. So, we will take this. Then what will we do? We will do its integration. So, tell me what is happening here. Whenever we talk about x y plane, then in that case, this x square plus y square plus z square minus b square is equal to 0. What did we do? As we have converted entire thing into x y. In that case, assume z as 0 and we are taking x y plane. Then in that case, we will have this. What will we do? We will substitute r cos theta for x and r sin theta for y. And when we will solve this, we know that d, we need to convert it in polar. And what will be dx dy here? It will be r d r d theta. Then what will we do? Students, here we have to take limits of r and theta. So, what will be r? It will go from 0 to b, right? Because here the radius of this is b and theta will come from 0 to 2 for entire circle. So, what we will do? We will take that value and put it here. When we will keep that value here and do its integration, then this value will become 2 pi b cube. But students, what will we do here? We will twice it. So, whenever we have to find whole surface and this is upper half. We have to calculate lower half, right? So, we will do it twice. It will give 4 pi b cube. This 4 pi b cube, it is the surface area of outer sphere. Now, you can see we are on the inside because we have this forming here. So, students, what is forming here? We have this and we have this. This is coming for outer one. Now, inside wherever there is b, we put a. It will be 4 pi a cube. Now, what to do? We will find area of this. What will we do? We will subtract these two. When we will subtract them, we will get the answer. From Gauss divergence theorem also, we can get it. So, this way we can easily solve it. Students, I will try to explain one more question. Please see the next question. f is given as xi minus yj plus z square minus 1k. Then find the value of this double integration f dot nds where s is closed surface. Founded by this, this and this. Let us try to understand this using a diagram here. So, what will we do here is I will take x here. Here I take y and here I will draw a circle. This will be x square plus y square is equal to 4. I have made this on x y plane and here we have z is equal to 0. When z is equal to 1, the surface formed will be this and from here a cylinder is being formed. So, in that cylinder, you need to find the value of its surface, right? Find the value of the surface integral, find its value, right? So, we will do this in two ways. If you are asked for verification, then first we will convert its surface integral into volume integral by Gauss divergence theorem and we will solve it. If we are asked verification, we will solve it. Using this method means we have to calculate surface integral. Answer for both will be same. We can easily do Gauss divergence theorem. If it is asked to find the value of this one, in that case, we will only solve it using Gauss divergence theorem. Then, answer will come. Be careful of what is being asked in the exam. Clear? So, f is given this here. And now, we have to find the divergent because we know that the theorem we have, that is double integration of f dot n. ds is equal to what will come? Triple integration of divergent of f dv. What will we do here? We will find its divergent. So, in that case, we will take derivative of i with respect to x derivative of j with respect to y and of k with respect to z. When we will solve it, its value will be 2z. So, what will we do here? Triple integration of this will be coming 2z dx dy and dz. Students, you can clearly see that the limit of z here goes from 0 to 1. Let us solve this first. We will do integration with respect to z. So, when we do its integration with respect to z, this will come as z square by 2 how much? 
z square by 2 and 2 is coming here. This will be coming dx dy. The limit is from 0 to 1, from 2 to 2, so it cancels out. Students, this will be double integration of dx dy. Now, dx dy is left and in the xy plane, we have a circle forming here. If circle is forming, then we have this as the area of the circle. In that, the area of this circle that we have is pi r square and r we have is 2. The value here will be pi. So, 2 square will come. The answer that will come here will be 4 pi. It means the value we are getting for it after applying Gauss divergence theorem is. Coming out to be what? It's 4 pi. If same question is asked in exam for verification or by surface integral, so in that case, what will we do? We'll calculate it using surface integral. What will we do? In this plane below, we will calculate value of this surface. Calculate the value of upper surface, then value of curved surface, and then we will add all of it. What will we get? The answer. Let's see how. So, you can see this here. Students in verification, if you try to understand its diagram, what I just mentioned you, same thing I'll explain in the diagram. We have x, then we have y, and then there is a circle. So, from this, we have a cylinder forming. This is z equals to 0, and this is z equals to 1. Now, what will we do? Base S1, that is this which we have with us. So, students, now what will we do here? I mean, so now what will we do? We will define its surfaces separately, right? The one which is at the bottom, we will call it S1. The base formed is S1, right? The upper surface, that is this one, right? This one, we will call it S2. We will call this S2. We will call this S1. And in this, the curve that is here, we will call it S3. And we will add the values of all three here, right? If we have to do this with surface integral, then how will we do it? I will explain that to you. So, first thing we do is find value of S1. In S1, we have x square plus y square equals 4 and z equals 0. If we talk about S2, then we have x square plus y square equals 4, z equals 1. And regarding the curved case, what is the value? It is this value. So, first we'll discuss about S1. In S1, we have this. And students, if this is coming, then I want to tell you that actually this is what we have, the xy plane. z equal to 0 means, it means xy plane. And z equal to 1 also means the xy plane. So, the upper one and the lower one, both are xy plane. Now, when we take the unit normal vector of this here, then upper one, we will show it as positive k. And the bottom one, we will show as negative k because the point is you have to show the direction, right? So, this one that is above us, the xy plane, which is here. This z is equal to 1. In that case, value of n cap we get, it will be k. And the bottom xy plane that is coming. In that case, what will be value of n cap? We will take minus k. In that case, we will have n cap as minus k and this f. We will calculate f dot n because we need to find its value. So, as soon as you calculate f dot n, we know that it will become k dot k1. And if we put its value, then we will get this. We know that in double integration. We will write S1 as dx dy. And what will we have here? The area. Whose area will it give? x square plus y square equals to 4, right? And x square plus y square equals to 4, its area will be pi r square. And we will get 4 pi as the answer in S1, right? Students, now we will talk about S2. If in S2 we get this, then if in S2 we will have this, in that case, the n cap we have will be what? It will be k. And what will we get here from this? It's f. Therefore, students, I want to tell you that here, the f we had there, it was z square minus 1. So, wherever is z, we will put 0. So, it becomes minus k. Let's talk about this. So, when we are talking about f here, f is given as xi minus yj plus z square minus 1 into k. So, this was our f. In this case, when we put the value of z as 0, we get this. Since we are talking about S2 surface, there z is equal to 1. When we put z equals to 1, this k term will disappear. We will have xi minus yj. Now, we will calculate f dot n. Since n is k and f is this. So, k and k is not coming here. So, its dot product will be 0. So, on S2 surface, its integration value will be 0. We calculated S1, S2. Now, S3. So, whenever we talk about S3, what will we have here? Calculating unit normal vector x square plus y square equals to 4 as its curved area. Let's try to understand how to calculate it. Students, I want to tell you that what will we do? For S3 surface, we will calculate unit normal vector. The phi was equal to x square plus y square equals to 4. We will subtract 4 from it and we will get phi. We will calculate its gradient del into f. When we calculate its gradient, it will be 2xi plus 2yj. Now, we will calculate its n cap. We know grade phi upon mod of grade phi. And if we take under root of grade phi, we get 4x square, 4y square. If we take 4 common, 2 will come. And the value of x square plus y square here, since it is kept equal to 0, the value will be 4. 
we will take out 4. Then this 2 will come as common and it will cancel out. So it will be xi plus yj upon under root of x square plus y square and under root of x square plus y square where its value will be 4. What will we have here? Value will be 2, right? We have calculated n cap. Now we have to calculate f dot n cap. So f is this and n cap is this. And when we take the dot product of both, we will have its value, right? We have the value of f dot n. We will pick this value and put it here. And this ds3, you need to understand that the cylinder formed in that it is going from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1. So z is varying from 0 to 1. Now what we need to do is convert x and y into single parameter. So we will do it as x is equal to 2 cos theta, y is equal to 2 sin theta. When we put x is equal to 2 cos theta and y is equal to 2 sin theta. So we have this value. Now we know that the cylinder that is formed, its limit, what we have is going from 0 to 2 pi. So theta will be from 0 to 2 pi and z is going from 0 to 1. Now what will we do here? We will do integration. Understand this? What we have to do here? We will keep x and y in a way. So that because in the double integration, there should be two parameters. What is happening here? x, y, z all are coming, right? Because z is also changing. So we will keep x and y in theta form, parametric coordinate form and convert it so that we don't face any problem. Now we will do its integration with respect to theta. It will be cos 2 theta. When we integrate cos 2 theta, it will be sin 2 theta. Then we will put its limit. Cos 2 theta will come. When we will do its integration, what will be its value? It's 0. So the first one was 4 pi, second one was 0 and third one was also 0. If we add all three, the final answer will be 4 pi. When we did it using cos divergence, then the answer was 4 pi. And in this way, we can easily verify it. Let's see another question. Let S be the surface x square plus y square plus z square equals 1. You are asked to find the value of its integration. So students, whenever the question comes in this form and we have f1. So f1 is x, f2 is y and f3 is z. So we know that the theorem we have is like this here. f1 with respect to x, f2 with respect to y, f3 with respect to z. It will be 1, 1, 1. This will be 3 and triple integration of dx, dy, dz. So we have a sphere and volume of that sphere is 4 by 3 pi. A cube and the radius is 1. So here we have value of this as 4 pi. In this way, we can apply Gauss divergence theorem easily. Thank you so much for watching me. How did you like the video? Please comment. And students, if you want to see my old videos on vector calculus, you can go and watch it here. If you are preparing for CSIR, NetGate and IIT jam exam and want to clear your basics, I have started foundation series for it. You can. Go and watch it. Also subscribe to the channel here. Thank you so much. Goodbye.